Hey there, Internet. I'm Kyle. Uh, apparently, I'm back playing Ogre Battle 64. Um, our last episode, we went to Advera Heights um, and helped further free the Nerdemies who were being oppressed by the Western Division and Lotus. Um, in between episodes, I did some upgrades on the army again. Uh, we had a couple people finally qualify for new classes. Uh, like, Nina here is now a Dragon Master. Um forget if we had done this the previous episode where we upgraded James's paladins. Probably the biggest one though is Zeus is finally a sword master, which means he's getting a third attack. Super stoked about that. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Uh, just some minor tweaks and upgrades. Uh, nothing insane. We are starting to finally stockpile some units over here. And I've been having thoughts about potentially eventually disbanding uh, Sophia's unit here and trying to make a new one. Maybe if we get a new viewer along the way, we can get a get them their own unit, or just doing something more interesting. Uh, this isn't a bad unit by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not my favorite. I feel like we could do something cooler than this. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And without further ado, let's get on to the next chapter. Once we've liberated this area, Castle Talpia will be just ahead of us. It won't be long till the confrontation with the Western Division. Do you think there's a way to avoid the battle with the Western Division? It seems to me that the Western Division is not inclined to fight either. If either side is willing to talk, then perhaps. Sa, dude. We have a messenger from the Western Division. He says he was sent here by Prince Yumul, who's asking for an audience with you. What shall I do? A messenger? From, from Yumul? I think it's best that you see him, Cal. I do too, Hugo. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Tell him that we'll listen to what he has to say. We'll be right there. Alright. Interesting. Yes, sir. I'm imagining that's swift at this point because he's the only knight left in the army who isn't a paladin. At least I think that's right. This message is from our general. Hmm. Am I reading this correctly? Our general is very kind-hearted. He wants the fruitless battles to end. He also accepts the justification of the Revolutionary Army, and he hopes that his reconciliation will be the first step toward peace. Does the Central Division acknowledge this? And what about the Nerdemese troops? We are currently negotiating with the Central Division. The Western Division has decided not to involve the Nerdemese troops in any further battles. That's probably smart. But that, but that doesn't mean they will be freed. Also correct. I must assume that the Western Division has no intentions of defying Lotus. N no, n no, that's not what was meant. In order to approach the matter peacefully, some things need to have higher priority than others. Oh, it's one of our messengers. Please excuse my interruption. The enemy troops have begun advancing on us. It appears that the troops are mainly Bamulkian. What? You deceived us. It can't be. The decision was already made. Not to involve the Nerdemese. It must be that knight from the Central Division, Sir Raid. Gotta hate that guy. Guy's such a douche nozzle. He must have pulled rank. Yeah, he can pull this. We will believe your words. We will believe Prince Yumo. We cannot make the decision. We must speak with our superior. Is that acceptable? Most certainly, sir. We will be waiting for a favorable reply. God, I hate Raid. He's, he's like the Algus. Or Argaf, I guess, depending on which translation you're playing of this game. 
Well, what should we do? Um, look at a big map like we always do. All right, uh, go ahead and skip this one. I I remember this mission pretty well. Um, there are a couple couple things in this one that I will highlight. Um, full disclosure, I actually um, tried to record this yesterday and just kind of hit a wall, like physically, mentally, with the pills and all that. <laughs> just wasn't feeling very good at all. So I actually kind of gave up after about 15 minutes of playing through this mission. I just felt like crap. But it did give me a chance to, you know, scout ahead, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and deploy our units, and I'll tell you what's up. Alright, we got our battle plan. So, uh, in this battle, you have the opportunity to recruit the one recruitable uh, Nerdemese troop in the game. Um, the key to doing that, though, is somewhat counterintuitive. Uh, basically, just don't send any units to the uh, east over here at the beginning. Uh, you'll see why eventually. Um, but yeah, don't do it. Uh, I did it yesterday and got mad at myself and restarted. <laughs> now I, I will not lie, that is part of the reason I probably got a little discouraged. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, we're just going to be sending the bulk of our uh, army directly north for the time being. And we're going to womp these guys. I have Zeus leading the pack today just because I want to see him in action as a swordmaster. I'm pretty stoked about that. I think he's the last one of our... Uh, well, no, uh, Asriel has another class to gain, but our big unit leaders, we're getting there finally, like, turning them into what will be possibly their second or actual final classes for the rest of this playthrough. I think we have, um, well, now we have T-Bone, who we need to get to be an enchanter. Oh, Plasma Ball. Sick. Um, and we'll probably have one more, two more for Asriel. One more. Oh, I forgot how squishy these guys are. Her masters are very squish. Total glass cannons. Um, Zeus will have another one. I think Ace and Matthias are pretty much set. Like, Black Knights are fucking dope. And there's not a whole lot better than them. Um, so, there won't be that much change for them outside of getting like some sick new equipment. Yeah, I did absolutely forget how squishy Swordmasters are. I don't know if they're any more squishy than Fencers are, but they definitely feel like it. Especially when an entire enemy unit just gangs up on them. It's okay, though. But yeah, I also uh, sent Dave down here just to go to the shop. And also, I'm pretty sure a bad thing happens here. All right, so we're going to have people start peeling off here, though. Um... You know what, Asriel, why don't you go out here and try to intercept this Voltan unit? We got Dave at the shop now. Let's see what's in the shop. I think there's maybe some good stuff. We'll see. Um, ah, I got all this. Uh, I forget if Magician's robes are actually any good. I get some scale armor, though. I like having stuff. Yeah, nothing crazy. All right. Yeah, and this is why we left T-Bone down here. T-Bone, why don't you just take the smallest amount of steps forward and make sure you're the one that... Uh-oh. She's getting attacked from the side. Uh... Let's have T-Bone encounter that Black Knight unit. This is not a good, though. I think we still got it, but... I want that golem. Oh, a nice block. Yeah, honestly, I kind of wish... Um, I I've mentioned it before. I actually joined a really awesome... Ogre Battle Discord. Uh, it's one of the few Discords I actually enjoy. Um, Discords are really chaotic, and I have a hard time just jumping in the middle of conversations and stuff, and 
kind of getting a foothold, but in that one, it's super enjoyable because it's about this. Um, but some of the guys in there have actually made an amazing looking uh, balance mod for this game, and I really wish I had found out about it um, before I started this because now I kind of want to start over and use it because of just some of the cool things I'm reading about them doing in it. Um, yeah, T-Bone, get out in front there. Yes, we liberated. All right, everyone just kind of get up in your bees. Everyone's here. All right. Um, send, uh, what is it? <laughs> it's so long. Uh, the Order of the Death Psy Brigade. <laughs> I'm just, sure. just going to call you guys the Death Cyber Brigade. It's a, it's a good mecha. I know a lot of people have uh, mixed feelings about Gundam Wing. I am one of them. I don't think it's a very good show in, on a rewatch. I think it's kind of convoluted, but some of the mecha design is. And I'll be a total... Uh, what would you even call it? Uh... What is the... What's the word I'm looking for here? The... Oh, basic. I'm basic. Um, I I nerd out hard for Death Psy. I, I think that's such a cool design still. I don't care. <laughs> what is this, like the third episode of this in a row where I've talked about mecha animes? Someone give me Ogre Battle, but with Gundam. And I will be happy. It could actually probably be a cool thing. I don't think you could legally use the Gundam license, but uh, just the idea, because yeah, I like the uh, a I like the battle system, the battle with a capital B, of uh, just the way you organize these units, and how all that goes down. Oh yeah, that's what we wanted. Yep, gotta watch out for that, and that's why we put Dave down here as well, besides just to go to the shop. Yeah, these guys were going for the frickin' jugular. There we go. Yeah, fight Azrael, you coward. Azrael has to be super tired, right? Yeah, but you are too, so it's okay. But yeah, I just think that could be a fun thing. Get him, boys. Oh my god, such big deeps. Love it. Pogo, no! They paralyzed you. And Ace. It's up to you, Matthias and Asnabel. Yeah, witches can be annoying. Uh oh. Um. Hey, some of you just chill. I don't want to mess this up again. Ah, uh, but here we go. Rachel and Nakoda. Oh, devastating. Gosh, once Nakoda becomes a Quetzalcoatl, this unit's going to be disgusting. Yeah, and I think, uh, is it Nikita is the other dragon tamer in this unit? She's real close to becoming a, uh, dragon master, and that's just gonna be fun, too. Oh, no, we have two knights in Asriel's unit as well. They're not pallies yet. Let's see it. Dark Blaze. 420. Eh. Uh, behind-the-scenes look here. I'm not recording this on 420. <laughs> But it was recent enough that I will still make a bad joke. God, y'all are brutal with that. And I, I, that rock is obscuring it, but we did give um, Asriel the uh, Kikirion staff. Which he is going to have for a while. And if you know what unit needs that, it will all make sense. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have Azrael actually come back and help with home base defense because these guys are going for it. Poke him. Yeah, this is going way better than it did yesterday. I feel much better. <laughs> I'm hoping basically to just uh, finish recording this, getting it edited quickly, and getting it up so you guys can have it today. Just because I, I missed yesterday, and I I know there's no pressure from you guys. It's more just from me. I just feel bad when I run out of videos, and I'm not posting consistently every day I miss. I'm just like, ah, could you not have taken 40 minutes to record something and get it up? And obviously the Ogre Battle videos are a little longer, and I like to do a little more editing on them just to get them down to a more reasonable time frame. So if you ever notice that I'm, like, posting a bunch of the Mario RPGs in a row, it's probably because I'm not feeling super hot, and those are easy to just pump out quickly. Um, alright. That's where we need to get. Um, I got... Oh, no. Um, actually, Ace. Buddy. I need you to actually lead this charge. I forgot I took all my chaotic units out of here. Um, but yeah, there's Vod, and we just don't want to mess with him. Um, if we can get up to, I think it's Ketakan, something's gonna happen that's gonna make, make it so he basically just won't move for the rest of the battle. Oh man, Azriel, you and your apprentice are just devastating. Yeah, I'm glad I made you a wizard. It's gonna be sick. Alright, uh, but actually, I'm gonna have you jump in on the bandwagon here. So yeah, the real goal here is just to not trigger VOD into moving. Um, T-Bone out there on point, though. I don't have to worry about he healing Kojiro. Yeah, this is another unit that I'm actually, like, really stoked about. Because it's just not one I would normally run, you know? It's just fun to see something new. But yeah, if you guys have ideas, uh, like I was talking about earlier in the video, just uh, replacing Sophia's unit, maybe doing something different. Is there... If there's a unit configuration you know of or like, or you just have any ideas, just let me know. Because I'm kind of drawing a blank. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing like a Beastmaster unit of some kind, maybe. Um, I've got the flying unit. I need to need to watch Dave here. All right, yeah, catch him, and then we're gonna make you go back to the base before you get too close to Vod. I think you should be able to wipe these dorks out, maybe. I was thinking about getting, even though we just upgraded to the uh, Wyvern. I was thinking about getting rid of the Wyvern and potentially just throwing two more Ravens in Dave's group. And I know we get some get access to better um, flying monster units a little bit later in the game. Like in Chapter 3, we'll start getting some really cool ones. Alright, um, Dave, why don't you fly back onto the Stronghold? Don't want you doing a big oops. Um, yeah, we need to get up here ASAP. Um, so I'm actually just going to have everyone else go up there too. Alright. Vod's still staying in place, so that's good. Uh, Dave's going back to the base. All those guys are camping, and we're just marching up north now. All right, uh, Ace had to take a little rest. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Uh, I was gonna say, so we're we're up there, and the unit in uh, the fort is actually coming for us. So I just had to stop outside. T Bone's getting some freaking action this time around. And yet again, like I'm stoked about it. Raikugoth is just a freaking 
beast. Oh my god. Just rope-a-doped him. And a crit? Oh. Oh, you guys just... You didn't even know what you were walking into. You saw this group of guys, and you're like, that makes no sense. You just got freaking murdered. Yeah, I'm not sure about the alignment of T-Bones Union. I think I'm going to try and keep him neutral as much as possible. Um, I don't really have a big neutral unit. Um, but yeah, I just stopped everyone. Ace had to rest, so. This will be my first action. This will be fun. Oh, wow. The makeup of this unit is um, not great. Not my fave. And am I dead? No. Got her. Nice. Yeah, those those pallies. They're such badasses. Yeah, Paladins are super good. Uh, so are heal packs. <laughs> like, I'm sure someone's done a stat breakdown on what technically is better Black Knights or Paladins as far as, like, damage and whatnot goes, but I like them both equally. I'd like to have access to more Black Knights, but they are super duper powerful, so... I think that was something I saw actually on the Discord, someone discussing um, whether um, basically allowing access to more Black Knights would break the game or not. Because they are, they are monstrous. They're, they're also talking about giving them a third attack, which I'm just like, that's literally the only thing holding them back from being like S tier, like as broken as some of the secret classes. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's do our old classic here, and we can start doing cleanup duty here soon. I'll wait though. Wait till we capture or liberate this fort. All right, we liberated Ketakan, and then, oh no, the bridge has been destroyed. It looks like they've got the upper hand. They ain't got two hands to find their butt flashlight with um <laughs> uh but yeah that's what happens you go all the way up here and then they bust the bridge but the nice thing about that is it's going to freeze um vod down here so um now what do we do well we do what smart people do and we have flying units um i'm gonna be overly cautious with this though i'm gonna have us work our way I'm basically going to give Vod a very wide berth. But yeah, just look at this. Devastation. Ah, oh, badass! Finish him, Pogo. Very nice. Hey, take a look at this. Hey, there's a cool consumable. All right. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna give Vod the widest of all berths here. We're gonna have everyone else kind of start making their way. Uh, let me see. What what is the alignment of this fort? Pretty high. Okay. Uh, do I have a high alignment unit down here? I do not. Sophia's unit? Um, also, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of this. This has just been like one of those things I keep forgetting about. 
because I think Leah died. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll have we'll have Leah lead this unit and go capture the stronghold. And then, um, yeah, Asriel going out. Uh, Dave. My boy. Um. I'll have you go out. And get arm mold. And T-Bone. We will also just have you climbing these mountains, avoiding Vod. Uh, the rest of us, I guess I didn't need to send all of us up here, huh? I'll just have us march back to headquarters. I'll probably have everyone else take point on the second part of this operation, honestly. So, pro tip, if you're doing this mission, you don't need to send a big contingency up north. There's not a whole lot to deal with. Alright, wipe him out, Azrael. Ah, oh, such a brutal attack. Yeah, no, look, you can see his really cool staff now. Keep a close eye on all of this. Um, Azrael, buddy, old friend. Let's keep you in the woods. Just an overabundance of caution here. Hey, what do we got here? Hey, revive stone. That's nice. All right, Dave. Let's get this archmage. Well, what's left of his unit? Womp. Ah, oh, sick block. Very good job, gentlemen. Oh, that's also super duper sick. I'm glad we actually cleared that unit. Um, yeah, screw it, Dave. Go get him. Everyone's about to go rest up here. Got a fun little camp. Alright. Oh, I remember you guys from earlier. You guys just have been hiding over here the whole time, huh? Cowards. Ooh, big crit. Yeah, only dummies put their black knights in the back. Keep going at Ziegler. Womp. Owie. That word of pain sound effect. I hear that all the time in my head. It's a, it's a spooky one. Alright. Keep pushing them back. Alright, I'm gonna need pause after this one just to make sure Dave doesn't stop on the 
stinking stronghold and capture it by accident. Oh, big damage. Big damage. Finish him. Alright. Um, hey, something here. Bower fruit. Alright, Dave. Um, just let's move you up here. Don't stop. Alright, cool. That was my worries when it pops up with that thing, of, you know, lost sight of the enemy or whatever, that he would stop on the corner of that stronghold and capture it. Alright. Uh, what's the alignment like over at Lachik? Pretty low. Okay. Um... I think you're still fairly neutral, right? Yeah, you're like true neutral, which is actually kind of sick. Um, liberated Lapids. So, Lapids? Uh, so, we're actually going to have Asriel go over there. That Cataphract unit can chill. Yeah, it's also super low. So, yeah. Um... Time for the Asriel show. I'll have Dave rest up over here, too. Alright, uh, Dave, now that you're rested, you know what? Let's just go ahead and send you over here. With your old bad self. Able to cross rivers. Oh, uh, we got quite a contingency. Oh, and look, here's that douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Oh, you're just out there in the middle for us. That's nice of you. It's so much easier to kill you there. Alright, um... I'll let Azrael actually rest up a little bit here. Uh, was there not a unit here? I thought there was. Alright, whatever, Dave. Behind enemy lines. Alright, Azrael, take point, my dude. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, T-Bone, why don't you also keep Azrael company over here? Yeah, this felt like a pretty well-balanced mission. I feel like everyone got to do something cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to take down Raid myself, but uh, might let someone else take the point on this one. Uh, just because I'm so far away. Uh, I'll tell you what, off camera, I'm going to... Uh, a roll a oh, God. Never mind. Well, we're boned. Uh, God, that's just a lot. Jeez, I forgot about that. You bastard. All right, Dave. Probably should have assembled more of an army over here. Um. It's not that bad. I think these three can take him. Got some real badass motherfuckers. Alright, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Sorry for the cursing. I'm just... I was not prepared for that. This lady and her gaggle of bearded bros. Ooh, that's a cool-looking wand, though. Ah, you didn't get hit by our dark flame. Kudos. Yeah, if we can just push them back and get Asriel in that stronghold, I think we're going to be good. Um, oh, that's not good, though. Uh, crap. At least we're not hurt.
Like, once we get the rest of these knights and his unit to be paladins, it will mitigate some of this, because, you know, if they're encountered from any side but straight up, they will have some healing. It's one of the reasons I really like to keep holy swords on them. Because while I don't generally use a lot of, like, clerics or priests as, like, dedicated units, I do appreciate the Paladin's ability, especially, of, like, whenever you're encountered from the back row to get a little healing going to mitigate damage. It's just a nice little bit of, uh, versatility. Alright, T-Bone, let's do this. Kojiro! Oh, you guys! Ah, oh, you messed up so bad. Once again, I really wish the uh, Puppet Master slash Enchanters had that really sick poison attack from March of the Black Queen. I also love that he attacks with a little version of me. I think that's adorbs. I thought this was going to be a pretty short one, honestly. I forgot about this whole aspect of it, honestly. Um, we got this. Captured! Did I, did I mess up? No. I think I did. Asriel. Nah, you're just too chaotic for this crappy town. It's okay. Can't win, win them all there, I guess. Hopefully we'll be liberating the last one. Oh, baby. Oh, you're just like, no more healing. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Alright. Oh yeah, this unit. In with that dark flame, dog. Ah. I think we got them this time, though. I think they're all in killing range. Nope, oh, maybe not. At least kill the leader. Yeah, there we go. Oh, she survived. up recently while recording this. Got like all kinds of notifications. Can't wait to find out what people want to talk to me about. I feel like it's work. I'm ignoring it. They they can wait until I kill raid. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Get that alignment down or up. Eh. Hey, take a look at this. An amulet. Very nice. I'm gonna take on this ninja master. Hey, what? What we got here? Ooh, a thunder spear. Nice. I think we might actually have everything almost to uh, possibly do some Freya's. I think we still need uh, Balder Mail. That is an interesting unit. 
for me to poop on. Get blazed. Just looks like they're sending him straight to hell. It's so brutal. Azrael, your unit is pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. A little jelly. Like, normally I'll, I'd have a uh, row of spellcasters in mind. Uh, I'm going with archers and a Dianas, just because something I haven't done before. But I will say the, the dark flame or dark blaze attack is probably my most used combination of uh, combo magic in this game. I just love the way it looks. It's so badass looking. There's some other really cool ones, but I think it's also kind of nostalgia driven in that was the first one I ever saw where I was like, what the hell just happened? That looks like some bad guy magic. Man, yeah, T-Bone's been killing it as well. Pretty much kudos to everyone on this one. Everyone's units have been really, really killing it. Proud of everyone. Uh, T-Bone, why don't you start clearing some stuff out over here? Yeah, so much for that ambush, hum raid. That really worked out for you, huh? Yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta suck being, you know, a pompous ass and a terrible tactician. It honestly wasn't that bad of a plan. <laughs> but it's what we've seen. Like, that seems to be the enemy's only real, like, uh, trump card. Like, oh, yeah, well, what if we blow up a bridge? It's like... Is it infrastructure week in uh, Plantius 2, guys? Alright. <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, this place is just... That's more your speed, Asriel. Why don't you start making your way up there, my dude? Uh, Dave. No, you tie tie, but why don't you try killing this dork? T Bone. Why don't you also go to the stronghold? Oh, man, both of you are just. Absolutely gas. Um, I believe in you, T-Bone. Fend off this nerd. He has the cool haircut that you want. But yeah, they are. This this could possibly go poorly. Just based solely on uh, how tired they are. Yeah. I did not put you guys in a good situation. That is my failing as a general. Yeah, we lose this one. Yep, totally lost that. That's the only one we've lost in this mission. Ah. It's rough. Sorry. Alright, T-Bone. Why don't you... Why don't you camp, my dude? Dave. Go be a guardian over here. Just keep an eye on that stupid enchanter. Alright, Asriel. Let's, let's capture this stronghold.
catch this nerd from behind. Oh, big crit. Got him. Captured? How? Ah, you dork. Oh, you're... I need to pay attention to that more. That sucks. There goes my freaking chaos frame. Um. All right. T-Bone. Oh, you chill out just a little bit, homie. Well, after this mission, I'm just going to have Azrael sit around and eat a bunch of urns full of ashes until he's evil again. <laughs> just mixing it up with some milk like some real gross Ovaltine. Chug it until you feel bad. I guess chaotic. Finish them. Oh, buddy, yeah, you just got sent straight to hell. Um, the bummer. It's a real bummer. It's not how you want to go down, ideally. I don't think. Hey, there's the Balder male. It's the last little bit of Freya gear. Oh, now you want to dance, huh? Alright. Nerd. Alright, the final push. Here we go. Good blocks. Oof. Still one. That's good. T-Bone. Time for that grudge match. Oh no, Kojiro! And here's the great part about Kojiro, though. Oh, nice dodge. Haha! -ha! Suck it. <laughs> ah, that's fun. I like that. <laughs> Alright, Dave, why don't you chill? T Bone. Also, you just. You let this idiot come to you.
is your own little mini boss fight. Honestly, yeah, if I could add, like, a new class to this, uh, I think it would be pretty cool for, like, some kind of necromancer class that boosts undead units. That could be pretty dang cool. Because undead units are kind of sick, actually. Uh, that was another one I picked up on the Discord that, you know, I really haven't used too much. But definitely, definitely something I'm going to further examine probably throughout this playthrough. All right. Let's do this. Where are the reinforcements? Where's the West? What's the Western Division doing? Uh, no reinforcements were sent. The Western Division remains. Ankaseth, that son of a bitch! He's just gonna watch? Curse them. Both him and his smart-ass kid. Where's Sir Baldwin? What happened to Sir Baldwin? Uh, he withdrew a while ago, so... So I'm the only one, huh? Can't depend on anybody. I hope you're ready to go to hell. Thanks to you all, my life's in ruin. Come on, fight me. I don't need anyone's help. I'll take care of you myself. All right. Brian. Give me his not very powerful sword that looks really cool. Blaze it. Done. <laughs> oh, that was very satisfying. <laughs> what a wiener. He didn't get, get to attack. How the hell are you going to change this kingdom? Revolutionary army endangers the existence of Palantius itself. Heh. Your victory is useless. See you in hell. Bye, nerd. Get wrecked. All right, sick. Yeah, that was a longer mission than I remembered. And it's mostly just because I effed up my deployment. If I'd had more units ready to go out east, probably wouldn't have taken as long. Still, good mission all around, guys. Yeah. Ah, and this is what we uh, tiptoed around that town for. If not for you, we wouldn't have regained our freedom. I thank you for what you've done for us. We only did what we thought was right. What are you planning to do now? If you'd like, how about joining the Revolutionary Army? Joining us. I appreciate your offer, but we have to decline. To the west of here, there are still many who are held captive. They're waiting for our help. We will go west to rescue our fellow Bamolkians. I'm sorry. Nah, dude, no problem. It's called freedom for a reason, dog. Please, let me fight with you. I can't bear it any longer. I must... I must seek revenge against those who enslaved us. Hell yeah, Vod. Aren't you the leader of the Verdon Meads troops? I've already discussed this matters with the others. I beg you. Your help will be valuable. Your help will be, be valuable to us. Welcome. Heck yeah, we got Vod. And if my calculations are right, I think we get... Another character? Mount Ithaca, Castle Gulzindar. Gulzindar. What brings you here, Destin? Did something happen in the Central Division? No, we received orders from headquarters to head west and prepare for Lotus invasion. Has Lotus initiated an attack against Palantius? No, not yet. Hmm? Cal, this is the official statement from headquarters. We will accept nothing less than unconditional surrender from the Western Division. The Western Division is unwilling to use use the full potential of the Death Corps to liberate the Western region. What? That's their intention? Unfortunately, I believe it is the intention of the entire Revolutionary Army. We have won numerous battles and have succeeded in liberating the Bomokians. There are many among the Revolutionary Army who believe that they can accomplish anything. And they are more concerned with the overthrow of the upper class than the Revolution itself. In order to lead a large group of people, 
It's occasionally necessary to accept things that go against your beliefs, to boost the morale of the Revolutionary Army. But this is not the time. Why must you fight those who, who do not wish to fight? Besides, Lotus will not remain quiet. That's why we came here. We left the Revolution to help the people of Nerdum. Cal, you must go to Castle Taupea as ordered and find your own answer. What needs to be done now? What what do you want to do? You must decide on your own. Destin. I was ordered to use the Nerdamese to fight Lotus. I understood its importance, but it's nonetheless but it nonetheless went against my belief. I was in the same position as you are right now. And my decision was to leave the Revolutionary Army. Man of principle. I dig it. I will fulfill my duty, regardless of my desertion. But I fight Lotus for neither the Revolutionary Army, nor for the people of Nerdum. I fight for all people who suffer. For myself. I follow my heart. I hope you understand. Hundo P, dog. I would like to remain here. In your battalion, with Aisha. Of course, if that is acceptable to you. Heck yes, Saradin. We welcome you, Saradin. Thank you, Cal. I will do the best I can do to support you. The decision made by the Revolutionary Army and your own beliefs. Neither can be said to be wrong. What is your goal? If you know what it is, then that should guide your path. Dang. Big heavy stuff. Uh, we got two new missions to choose from, though. And we are going to find out which direction we're going on the next episode. Uh, once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, uh, give the video a share even. Um, I'm Kyle, apparently, and I will see you next time. Oh, your next appearance in case you don't survive.